immediately from weekend one, he pulled me aside and kind of you know, taught me the ropes, and that kind of has never stopped since, since then. Um, it's kind of nice having a good person in the game giving you advice, um, the real life, and uh, it's worked out really well. It's been, it's been a big deal. Is there one football memory you have, uh, specifically of Marcus that you can share with us down here in the end zone? Oh, that's tough. There's, there's a lot of good ones. Uh, I think my favorite times are, are when if he does some some kind of silly on the field or or something uh, that he knows that I'll laugh about, he'll just look at me and I'll be laughing. And, and when I'm out there and I'll do something, I'll slip or something. I look over and he's laughing too. So I think it's kind of that bond that you know that we've created without even talking. You're really good friends with Marcus. And is there anything like you pick up on being such good friends? That is it special for you to watch him? Yeah, like you and you maybe, I mean, we don't see um, when you sit and he says goodbye to Austin Stadium. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know he doesn't know what what's going on, and we'll figure that out later. But I think he's super appreciative of what Austin Stadium has kind of given him. Uh, I mean, he he's just going out there and playing football every Saturday, and the way that you know Eugene and, and that place has embraced him has been, you know, pretty special. And I don't know what people in the past how loud it's been for them or, or anything, but just seeing him uh, for his first start and, and then just seeing him kind of grow, it's been it's been really cool.